Khan is an expert on the game industry as an executive on Wapier, and uh, he spends his whole career on, on game development. So we're bringing a, an interesting conversation here. So Carlos, talk, talk about, in your perspective, from a long time, you know, game is active. How do you see that so far what blockchain managed to change the industry in terms of business model or accessibility or mindset? Okay, well, I think that big change that we are seeing is that finally now you can own what you play. Like it's like the like a digital like ownership. So that's the key like the a key thing because like uh, up to now if you play like any game you don't really own what you're playing so if you stop playing you you couldn't sell all the all the assets and so that's the uh, big change that is that is happening that was uh, never done in the past like properly uh, and this is leading to new game styles to be uh, created like monetization models more like inclusion of like people who uh, couldn't play or that couldn't really like make money like with games uh, and now they can so this is like a small change if you take a look it's just to own stuff but now that you can finally really own what you're playing it makes a lot of difference so that's the big change that is happening right now yeah, and this is a very interesting thing because it's a reality it's happening right now we see uh, in practice, the impact that you have in communities like in Indonesia, you have financial inclusion and gaming will be almost as a part-time job in the future. Oh yeah, or like a full-time job because you, you, you see like in uh, some cases you can even like be uh, a creator so there is also this stuff uh, like happening like around games is that uh, like we now have like some of the players they are actually building what the game is selling so it's not that like the game developer is doing everything he can have the community to uh, create new assets new like weapons new like levels of the game and those players can sell this stuff as well so it's uh, like uh, like a twofold I think uh, you as like a player if you just want like to play you can spend money there then you can sell it but if you also want to uh, create stuff then you can uh, like make money from your uh, creations like in the game so it's really stuff that is it could be like like a full-time job if you want to and not just like a part-time just to pay some bills so that's another thing that like up to now we had some examples but they are not as big as what we are seeing now uh, yeah. using all of the blockchain technology. You create a, a very diverse chain that is producers, consumers, uh, uh, and a lot of different pieces on this ecosystem. Yeah. And, and the, the fun part is that will push the game industry also to reinvent itself on a more inclusive and in a more diverse ways of producing games. Because so far what we have is the centralized games creating this decentralized ecosystem yeah. which is a kind of a kind of clash because in the end the things are still centralized because they're controlled by a centralized logic so yeah. to go further into that we need more decentralization right and up to now you have like a game and you are basically like making money from the first time that you uh, sell the game or that you sell like the items to the player now what is happening is that uh, since I can also like sell like like what I'm playing like the studio they are going to make uh, most of the money not from the first sale but if this item is being kind of traded and resell it like so it's a completely like a like change because you you got to do like a game and thinking about if your like players like a community they will like to uh, keep on trading items so we are it's really like shifting like like the power to the community and and they can also kind of vote on what is going to happen with with like the game economy so uh, this is the real powerful thing is that we are not yet seeing uh, the best games out there because it will take us let's say five years until we get like one hit game uh, but we'll see games that are totally like different from what we are seeing now and focus in the actual like player in like, the community and what you are bringing in the game can make you to uh, can make you like earn like some money if you want so it's not that you are only going to play like for cash but if you want to sell items if you want to like make money that uh, it's now like an option so it's like a new market like on top of the like like already hundred billion dollar market so it's we are adding 
new sources of like money and like inclusion to this gaming access yeah. ecosystem. And, and the inter interesting thing is to heavily involve the community because they're shifting from one to many as business model, but to uh, many, many, to many to many business exactly, model. Yeah. Yeah? And to shift that to, to the ecosystem, you need to go further in decentralization because the community will be part of the of the game development. You're gonna have this bottom-up approach on game development of the community also owning the roadmap of this game development, and you can do this only if you decentralize further the logic of this game. We have like the stressless way of uh, at doing things like in the blockchain. So if we build like a smart contract there, all of the rules they are like set there. You cannot just say, okay, I'm the developer of like game A and I want to change like this because now I want to go into this other way. No, it's there like on like the blockchain. Everybody can check and you cannot do any further uh, like, like changes there. So, uh, and all of the games now, they like start first with like the pitch to the community, so you get to convince them that your game will be good. Then they will start to put like some money there, buying tokens, buying all of those like NFTs, and then they will be like a shareholder of the game, and they will vote. And if they don't like it, okay, they can always sell it to like somebody else. But it's always based on okay, you have got to listen what the players want, and then you build what. They want, they want and give them like like the power to see okay we want a game uh, a little bit like different okay if they can vote and then the game may turn into like a direction that is not you as the developer like want but is what the players want so this is a completely different, mindset. different? and it's not possible if you are like in your own uh, like server that you can always change some rules exactly. and we have seen this in several games that sometimes they just uh, I, I change something and then all the players say, hey, but now the game is not what I was like used to do. Fighting for so long, now I, it's... Exactly. Uh, so that's what is like only possible if you are not uh, controlling where all of those rules are being served or like, hosted. Yeah, and, and that's where Cartesi technology, the Cartesi the blockchain plays a key role. It's through our infrastructure, we will provide times more capabilities to regular developers and companies, game studios, to further decentralize their games. It's only through a solution that can scale the computation capacity and can bring to the mass regular traditional program languages that can be used by millions of developers. Yeah, we can really, really further decentralize the logic of the games and unlock all these possibilities that we are talking here. That's a really good point, Bruno, because like uh, as a developer, like you don't want to really have to learn like a whole new stack of like tools, like programming languages, just to be able to do something uh, simple or just to like do like your vision, like to uh, move it forward. So if you have a solution that you can like use what you know like already for years and just like use it in this new like context of the blockchain, it, it would make all the development much much faster. So I guess this is one key feature that I'm not seeing like a lot of companies doing, frankly. And, and, and address not only that is every every mainstream developer in the world knows Linux yeah. and the regular program language and all the libraries and toolings that are available for this ecosystem that has been developed over the last 40 years. So it's a breakthrough on the possibility to bring to the masses, to the mass development, uh, blockchain technology, addressing millions of developers that are currently are not able to tackle this revolution. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really excited to see what comes next. I'm very excited to also to the future of Cortez and Wapier. I think yeah, it has Walker, a lot of synergy. Exactly. Yeah. What you're currently doing here, like at Wapier is that we have been working like with studios for seven years right now and uh, on the free to play side and we see exactly they are like struggling to move into the web three and we have like technology that can build like on top of yours so that they can if they, they want to do like a marketplace they don't have to really do all the smart contracts like we have like a solution that it's a plug and play almost and they have like a big chunk of their like a blockchain game like done and they only Let's focus customize. on the fun part like the a game design or like the tokenomics so i guess we are like in the same uh, we are like in sync here we are trying to give tools so that all the like web 2 like developers or like web 3 they can just ship uh, faster 
and get benefit of uh, all of this. Yeah, and the way that I see the way that I see the chain value is Cartesi technology, Cartesi infrastructure providing the mean for what you're building in a very affordable and, uh, and efficient way. Those modules. Yep. So the, the game developer use those modules that are being developed in the, uh, underneath the Cortesi technology. Exactly. Yeah. Now you have all the uh, beauty of Linux at your disposal. Yeah. You're not anymore constrained to very limited cap computational capacity and encoding capacity. Yep. You can use whatever you want. And then you can build magic models that will address the needs of those developers. That's a vision. That's fantastic. For sure. We are waiting to see this, this partnership unfold and, and, and things that we can build together. I'm very happy to be here with Likewise, you, Carlos. It was a pleasure to yeah. meet you again. Good seeing you again. Cortez, the Blockchain OS.